Um, today I'm going to show you how to read a wiring diagram uh, supplied with your electric motor. Um, once you learn how to read these, uh, it can be very simple. Um, you need to understand uh, how to wire one of these um, according to whatever voltage you're going to run it off of. Um, this motor right here uh, you can run off of 115 or uh, 230 volts. Um, all your information about the motor is usually right over here. Um, and your wiring diagram is right here for the wires. And that's what we're going to be looking at. So go ahead and zoom in here. Okay. So over here you have... Um, low voltage and then you have high voltage over here. Now um, it says uh, for low voltage here you have line and line. Now it doesn't matter what wire you hook up to either one. You can put your hot wire here and your neutral wire here or you can put your uh, hot wire here and your neutral wire there. It doesn't matter what line goes on uh, what uh, bundle of wires. So um, we have uh, 115 volts right here and you would take uh, wires T1, T3, and T8 and for example I'm going to put those um, on the hot wire and then I'm going to take these wires here T2, T4, and T5 and I'm going to put those on the neutral wire and then connect your ground and the motor should run just fine and then over here we have high voltage uh, 230 volts and the same thing um, you can take your uh, hot wire and you can run it on either uh, one of those two wires now the way you would run 220 volts on this motor would be like a 115 volt setup um, except you won't be using the white wire as your neutral the white wire will become a hot so for example I'm going to take this wire here T1 and I'm going to hook that up to the white wire which would normally be a neutral for 120 volt setup but for the 220 volt uh, you're going to use that for a power wire a hot wire so I'm going to put this one here on the white wire and then we're going to take wires T4 and T5 and tie those into the black wire and then these wires here T3 T8 and T2 would be taped together. Um, all the wires on the back of the motor are labeled as well so that you will know what wires are what and you can hook them up accordingly to uh, whatever you're going to wire the motor for. Um, so basically that's how you would read this wiring diagram. Uh, it's not that hard. Like I said you have 115 volts here, low voltage and then high voltage, uh, 230 volts. Um, I'm going to show you the wires real quick. Um, the labeling, or the numbering on the wires, so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, so here's what I was talking about with the wires here. Um, you can see these wires here. Um, that's T5, and then there's T4, and then um, these wires here I got taped together. Um, so you got uh, T8, and then you have uh, T2, and then back there you have uh, T3. So uh, just like I said in the wiring diagram, uh, if you're going to wire it, or, well actually right now this is wired for uh, 220 volts, but I'm running it off of um, 110, but it would basically look the same way um, if you were running it off of... Uh, 220 volts. But anyway, just like the diagram shows, um, the lab or the numbers on the wires, 
and then you have the uh, numbers here so whatever you're going to wire it to on the diagram uh, your numbers are right here on the wires and it makes things a lot easier uh, there's a couple more wiring diagrams that I'm going to show you um, and those are easy to read as well um, so let me get those and then uh, I'll be right back okay um, so here's a, another motor um, this one's another Dayton um, as you can see over here um, there's all the information on the motor uh, just like the other one um, now this one here um, instead of having the wiring diagram over here um, it would be on the back cover plate of the motor uh, now this one here is a two-speed motor um, high speed is 1725 and then low is uh, 1150 um, 115 volt only cannot run 230 off of this motor 115 only um, so what I'm going to do is uh, show you the um, diagram on the cover on the back of the motor and then these wires are labeled as well um, just like the other motor so I'm going to grab the camera here okay so here we go um, Here's, I'm going to try and hold the camera as still as I possibly can. Um, so, what we have here is, um, we have right here, high and low. And this is your line. Um, now, your black wire, you have to keep in mind, is your power wire. Okay, so when you switch this motor from either the high speed or the low speed um, it's the current going through the black wire that you're going to be changing so the way you would wire this motor up would be um, for uh, wire number one okay you would take your neutral wire and connect that to um, wire number one which on the wire itself it's labeled T1 and then whatever speed you want to run uh, let's say you want to run it on low you would connect your black wire to wire T4 and then for high speed you would wire um, the black wire to um, T4 so again your neutral wire goes to T1 and then your black wire uh, would go to either uh, wire T2 or T4, whichever speed you want to run the motor at. And then, same as usual, you would connect your ground wire uh, to the motor and everything should be just fine. So, here's your wires right here. Okay, as you can see, just like the other motor that I showed you earlier, there's T2. Um, what's this one here? Uh, all the number is worn off. Um, and then right here we have T1. So uh, T2, T1, and this one right here is uh, T4. So just like I said, your neutral wire would go to this wire right here, T1. And then you would put your uh, black wire on either T2 or T4, depending on uh, what speed you want to run the motor. And uh, this wiring diagram is pretty simple. Um, that's really all there is to it. There's one more that I'm going to show you, and um, so I'm going to go get that set up, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay. Um, uh, got a third Dayton motor here um, so uh, this uh, one this one here uh, is a split phase AC motor um, same thing with this one it's uh, 115 volts only um, so I got the cover uh, off on the back of the motor so I'm going to show you um, how uh, how to read that wiring diagram uh, this motor here is non-reversible 
Uh, the last one that I showed you was non-reversible, and uh, the first one um, was uh, two voltages, 115 and 230, and that one you could also reverse. Um, no, I'm sorry, this one is reversible. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so, anyway, um, here's the wiring diagram on the back of the cover for the motor. Um, so, uh, instead of the wires being numbered, um, the terminals inside the motor, in the back of the motor, um, up here are numbered. So, you have right here, ungrounded line on terminal 1, and then you have your line on uh, terminal number 4, and then over here you got terminal number 2, and nothing is connected to that terminal. Um, and then of course here you have your blue and yellow wires. Uh, those are just for, those need to be interchanged if you're going to reverse the motor. Um, don't worry about those. Um, you only have to work with those if you're going to reverse the motor. Uh, prior to wiring it up to get it going, you don't have to worry about that. So let's go back up here. As you can see right here, I have my neutral wire going to terminal 1. And then this terminal here, uh, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but there's a number 2 under there. And then this one right here is terminal uh, number four. So, um, and then over here, you can see that green grounding screw there. That's where you would uh, connect your ground. Uh, the other two motors that I showed you earlier, those both had green grounding screws on them as well. So, um, there you go. Uh, that's pretty much how you read these wiring diagrams. Uh, it's not that difficult, um, so hopefully uh, this video helped somebody. Um, you know, maybe you got a motor sitting at home that uh, you're not too sure on how to wire it up. So again, hopefully this video helped somebody. Um, don't forget to comment, uh, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed any, or if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, go ahead and uh, subscribe. I plan on having more videos uh, to come soon. Um, uh, if you have any suggestions on any other videos that you want to see, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comment box, and then uh, I'll see what I can do. So, there you go. Um, that's how you read a wiring diagram on uh, pretty much any electric motor that's supplied with that diagram. Alright, see ya.